There we go. Okay. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in tonight. This is going to be um, just a quick little overview of a bunch of different information. So you may want to take notes. Um, we will have the recording posted so you can watch the replay if you want to just listen to it once and then take notes maybe on a second round or however you want to do it. But this is just going to be some basic getting started information that is super important um, to get you started off at the right, you know, pace and everything like that. So my name is Brittany Beck and I am um, one of the top leaders in our company. Um, our actual business opportunity is called Elopreneurs. And our um, customer, our, our actual product line is Elevosity. So we are Elopreneurs as a business and we sell product through our um, product company called Elevosity. So if you ever hear Elevosity, you hear Elopreneurs and you're like, what the heck is, I'm so confused. That's what it is. You are in the business, so you're an Elopreneur and um, you can earn money through Elopreneurs, but you sell a product line called Elevosity. All right, so, um, First things first, if you are interested in obviously sharing a product, you're going to need to know how to do that. So that's usually the first question is like, okay, I have someone interested. How do I get them to order? So there are two websites you will need. One is elevosity.com and that is going to be your product, um, your product website that you share to get someone to order product. And after elevosity.com, there's going to be a backslash and then your referrer code. So if you don't know what that is, set it up when you enroll. If you don't know what it is, you can go into your back office. You just go to elopreneur.com and log in and you will see, it'll say your websites. You can click that and it will show you what your websites are. Erin, do you mind muting yourself? Oh, it's not, it's not you. Actually, it's Paige Fisk. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so you will actually be able to see your websites listed out there if you don't remember what your referral code is. Elevosity.com slash referral code is what you would give to people to, um, or we got another person, um, you know, that phone number one, 0 but thank you. Um, that is how you get people to enroll as a customer. Is your Elevosity website. There is a video there that explains the product. There is um, information on every single product. There is nutrition information on every product. So a lot of times people get started, someone will say, what's the ingredients? And then you're like, crap, I don't know what the ingredients are. Let me go ask my sponsor, Misty, what the ingredients are. You don't have to do that, right? It's all gonna be on the website for you. So you can just say, hey, homegirl, on the website I gave you, just go click the product and it will have a product guide on there to show you the ingredients. If you want to help your customer even more and you don't want them to have to go click anything, you can screenshot it yourself and send it to them. But there's no need to reach out to your sponsor for that. It's really quick and easy for you to find. So I want to give you empowerment and tools so that you can take this business by the reins and you can run with it. And you aren't sitting there waiting on Misty to get out of the salon appointment to answer your questions so that you can move on with your business, right? We, are, we want you to be independent. We want you to be able to run your business. We want you to be able to hit the ground running. And so I want to do this Zoom to empower you to take the reins to do your business. That's our goal here. Um, let's see, uh, Aaron, will you mute Kim, please? Or you can actually just assign me as host if you want, and I, and I can handle that too. But it's okay. like I uh, Yes, that's fine. If you say Kim. Yeah. How do I assign you as host? I'll try and keep close tabs. Okay. Or if Kim, if you want to mute yourself, it's just a little I, button. I mute. think I muted Kim. Um, no. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah, if you'll just keep watching, Aaron, if anybody's speaker starts turning green, I'm usually the host, so I'm like muting like crazy the whole time during the Zoom. Um, so I get really distracted when someone's like unmuted. All right, so anyways, you have a link that you can share, and then your Elopreneur link is just a link if someone wants to enroll to join the business straight away. If someone's already your customer, they can just log in their back office or log in the Elevosity website and upgrade. So they would not need your Elopreneur link 
they would just upgrade through their normal customer account, okay? So the only time you need the Elopreneur link is when someone has never enrolled as a customer and they're wanting to just join you straight away. All right, we have um, a couple main groups. Our, um, my team page is called Team Unity, and it will be a Facebook group that someone probably has added you to. If not, I'm sure they will. And in Team Unity, it's all about our training and information. We get, we, I post incentives, I post updates from the company, I post, uh, you know, just motivation and information and training. All of that is in Team Unity. So if you haven't been added, I'm sure you will get added to that. Um, one huge tool that is amazing for all groups, it's not just our team page. If you have not utilized this, this is really important. But in your, in our Facebook group, you can just click the little magnifying glass at the top and you can click that and then you can search anything that you want. So if you are like, oh my gosh, someone's asking me, what are the packs when you enroll? I don't know what they are. Just click that in our team page and search packs. Guarantee you pretty much anything you could ever want to know is going to be available on Team Unity because we've been here for 18 months and anything that has came up in the past 18 months is in that team page. So there's probably no chance that you're going to ask anything that hasn't been already answered and you can find it again yourself. This is an empowerment Zoom. So all you do is click the magnifying glass and type a keyword and it'll pop up all the posts related to that. So if for some reason you are, someone's asking you, what are the prices? And you're like, oh, I don't know the prices. I mean, I'll, she's asking me to process something and I've given her the website. And what, if you want to know again, and, and you don't know how to find it on the website, just search prices. If you want to know, um, you know, when's the next convention and you're like, I don't know when the next convention is. Let me search convention. Anything you could possibly want to know, I guarantee you is in there. If you need training on some sort of topic, you're like, I really don't know what to do as far as follow-up goes, search follow-up. And I guarantee you there's going to be different trainings from different people even will teach you about follow-up. If you are like, I don't know how to do a Facebook Live. I don't know what Facebook Live is. Search Facebook Live. Guarantee there's going to be training on that. Anything you can think of is going to be in that team page. It's got lots and lots of tools. But the biggest tool you need to know is how to find it. You know, the old saying is, I can either give you a fish or I can teach you how. The biggest thing is so that you know how to fish. You know how to fish. All you have to do is go on the team page and click that magnifying glass and type a keyword. That is fishing. You'll find your information there. All right, um, another big tool in Team Unity or any Facebook group is announcements. If you click announcements, it's usually anything that's brand new. So a new incentive, new information that's just come out, new trainings are under the announcement tabs or stuff that's always super important, like our getting started guide. So if you're brand new, a getting started guide kind of guides you through some of the things I'm gonna be telling you. And so we will have like a printed out paper that you can actually print and have in your hand so you can kind of mark things off. Um, and again, that's gonna be under announcements because it's an important tool that's always relevant and important to us. All right, another group, um, you guys have a, a team group, it's called, I think, Level Up, something like that. And there's um, incentives and bonding and, and introductions and all kinds of stuff that goes on there. Um, so I'm sure you're added to that too, so you can look around both groups. And then another group we have is our ATM group which is called Happy Brew Crew. It's a customer testimonial page. Hold on one second, let me let Aaron mute this person, Shelly. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, so um, Happy Brew Crew testimonials is all customer testimonials. When we first started it, we kind of let anybody kind of do what they want, ask questions and do all the things. So again, you can use that too, like a search engine for our products. If you just, again, click the magnifying glass and search, you can find tons of information. If someone, you know, you're talking to a customer and they're like, can you use this while you're breastfeeding? And you're like, I don't know that. And, you know, Aaron's never told me if you can or can't. And she's at a doctor's appointment or at a soccer game. And I don't, how am I going to ever find out? Again, just in the customer group, just search breastfeeding. And I guarantee you there's going to be several threads already talking about that. So you can get your answer that you need and move on about your day. I'm all about efficiency. What's going to be the most efficient? Um, the other thing about the Happy Brew Crew customer testimonials, not only for you, for your, for your information, it's for you to add customers who are interested. So if you have someone that's on the fence or you have someone that maybe just ordered, um, you can add them there and you can tag them. So it's ATM because you can add them, you can tag them on something that's relevant to them, and then you just message them for follow-up. So if you have someone that's like, 
well, you know, I'm a 50 year old guy and I don't really think the product would work for me. And maybe you add them to this customer group, tag them on another 50 year old male's story and they can read it. And then they're probably going to order because they see it's not just for, you know, you, it's for them as well. So that is what that group is for. It's customer testimonials. Um, there's all kinds of testimonials regarding weight loss, health, all kinds of things. And we're also going to start bringing in the business aspect into that group where people will talk about what the business has done for them as well. And um, so we'll be able to tag people that are interested in the business on some of those posts. So make sure you're in there, scroll around, read some stuff. It'll inspire you as well. I mean, if I ever feel like I'm having a bad day or whatever, and I'm like, dang, this business is tough. I'll go read some of the testimonials and I'm like, this is why we're here. This is why we do what we do. Read through some of those and you'll, it'll fire you up. All right, so you can search groups at any time to find information. If you do see a testimonial in there and you're like, I need to share that. I love that story. I'm going to share it to my page. Just send them a quick message or comment and say, do you mind if I share this? And most of the people will let you share it. So if you want to share that to your page um, and you can just take their information and post it to your page. All right, um, speaking of posting, let's move on to um, how to get yourself out there. So in order for you to get yourself out there to open your business to advertise, most people use Facebook to do that. Um, so that's one tool you can use. If you're using your Facebook page to do that, make sure that you're creating curiosity. So what that means is that you're not giving away the farm. You didn't say, I just joined Elopreneurs and I'm selling this Elevocity products and here's the ingredients and here's how much it costs and here's my link if you want to order. That will never get people going, okay? That's not going to work out for you. Instead, if, you're, if you share your you know, quick little testimony, oh my goodness, I, start, I switched my coffee, I'm down five pounds, this is amazing. That's going to get people to pique their curiosity. They're going to be like, what coffee? What did you do? What did you switch? Tell me information. That's what you want. You want to inspire someone to ask you about it. Because if they ask you about it, then that's your lead and you have their information and now you can follow up with them. And maybe even give them a free sample if they don't ever, you know, take, you know, they don't ever take initiative and order themselves. So post curiosity posts out there. If you need examples, again, in Team Unity, you can search curiosity posts and you'll see lots of examples. If you click under files, there's actually um, a document that I created with several different examples of curiosity posts. Um, you can follow other top leaders in the company and see what kind of posts that they're making about the products in the business. One thing I will tell you is that we strongly discourage copy and pasting posts. So if you see a post from another leader that you love and you're like, mm, I'm going to share that. You can share that, but you cannot share that that day. Okay. So you can save it. Just click the little three little dots and save it or literally handwrite it down in your notes or take a picture of it, whatever you want to do and save it for at least a week. I always say, put it in the bank, okay? You can put it in the bank and save it for later. But if you share it that day, Facebook views you as a copycat and they're not gonna let a lot of people see it. They're like, oh, she's sharing some chain letter or something like that. And it does not get the same result as it would if you saved it and shared it later. So do not ever copy and paste something. And it also, you know, a lot of times upsets the original poster. If they took a lot of time and effort making that and then you just copy it and post it the same day, they're like, dang it, I went through all that, and they just copied my idea. Um, so again, most people don't mind if you share it, but share it later. So if you love a post, share it later, and still tweak it and make it sound more like you. If, there, if someone posted a picture with it, take a picture for, of your own coffee cup and share it. You know, don't just hijack someone's stuff. The more original you can be with your posts, the better your audience will do with them, I promise. Um, Okay, so again, curiosity posts, you can follow people, you can search in Team Unity, you can click on files and see different options there. You can use curiosity posts on Instagram or uh, Snapchat or anything as well, um, but most of us use Facebook. Um, I would recommend going live, if you can go Facebook live, especially to at least launch your business and tell people like why you decided to do this new journey, what you love about the product. Again, don't give away any information. Just tell them what you're doing, like why you're liking it, why you like the coffee, but don't tell them exactly what the name of the business is or what the name of the products are because you want them to come to you and ask questions. You don't want to give it all away and they can do their own research. 
Yes, someone said the story feature is huge. Um, Facebook caters more towards live videos and their stories. So if you've not tried Player on Stories, again, search stories in Team Unity. We have a training on that. So anything that I'm talking about, if you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, always just you know, write it down with a question mark and then you can search it in Team Unity later or you can ask your sponsor and they can direct you to the correct thing. All right, so using stories is really good. It's a quick little snippet. It lasts 24 hours. They're across the top of your Facebook and you can view other people's stories and get an idea of what I'm saying. Um, but they're really good quick snippets and they grab people's eyes and they're gone after 24 hours. So if you're like, I'm nervous about putting my, you know, before and after picture out there, and I don't want anybody to see it, you know, maybe a story is a little way to creep your way in. So you're not like, you know, it's not going to be there forever and always. It's there 24 hours and it's gone. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, so utilize the groups. Utilize curiosity posts. Um, it's really important. If you can do a Facebook Live launching your business, if you want to do a Facebook Live showing how you make your coffee, how you do it, and how simple it is, maybe after you've made a few posts about it. Um, that's awesome. If you want to maybe talk to one of your leaders or your sponsor and do a dual live and maybe interview them about their experience with the product, that's always a good Facebook live to do as well. Um, and then one thing that's in our getting started guide is really your goal in your first 30 days is to get the product out to 50 people. Okay. Your first month, try to get the product out to 50 people your first month. Now, how can that look? That could be a two day shareable that could be a six day experience that could be, you know, maybe doing a coffee social launch party at your house where you're, you know, you get 10 people to your house and they all try the coffee. That'd be 10 right there. Maybe it's 10 customers that you enroll. Um, maybe it's 10 people getting a stick of coffee that you just hand out whatever 50 experiences in your first month will really get your business going that first month. Um, if you can do it again, the next month, you're going to grow it even more. But if you can get 50 exposures to the products in that first month, you're going to do really well. Most people use shareables to do that. So a shareable is if they're in your back office under, um, you can order them. You get 33 shareables for $200. So it comes with, 33 of these in the shareable is two um, of the sticks of product and two of the Xanthamax. And it's going to be a mixture of chocolate, coffee, and um, the Xanthamax. You'll get 33 of those. You can do whatever you want with these. I personally like to sell them. Um, but however, whatever works best for you. If you give them away for free, know that a lot of times people won't use them because they didn't pay anything. There's no investment. So I like to charge either just shipping, which is about $3 or up to $10 for them. So if you do that, you get all your money back. Um, but either way, investing in your business is going to go far. And so again, these are 33 of these for $200 um, in your back office. And so that's a really good way to get 33 exposures out your first month. You can buy um, these in your back office. You can get there's six sticks of coffee, six tablets of Santa Max in your in these. You can buy them for twenty four dollars and sell them for thirty. Um, you can also share your link, and they can order them directly from you. So they can actually order these from you um, in your website for thirty dollars, and it comes from the company, and you don't even have to have them on hand. So maybe that's part of your 50 exposures is people ordering these from you. Um, maybe it's people ordering the full month supplies, supply from you. So don't sample yourself out of the sale. So if you're sharing your story, you're sharing your testimony, someone's like asking for information, I wouldn't go straight in like, do you want to try a sample? I would say, you know, this is how much it is for a month supply and explain that. And then if they're like, oh, do you have any samples? Is there any way I could try it before I buy? That's when I would lead with the sample, if that makes sense. Um, if you're just trying to get it out there, you may make a post about some, you know, I've got a, a limited supply of trials on hand just to create some urgency and to get some out. But again, if someone's just asking you for information, I wouldn't lead with a sample. But 50 exposures your first month, out of that, you're going to get, you know, some customers, some long-term customers and potentially business partners from that. 
All right. Um, there is also a money back guarantee. So if someone says, well, I'll try it, but what if I don't like it? You know, there is a money back guarantee. Don't leave with that. But if they do ask, they can get their money back. So we always say, you know, either you, either you change your life or you get your money back. Either way you win. So there's really no risk in getting a month's supply um, to try it out. I don't know what that was. There's like people in my house, so there's no telling what we're, what we're going to hear guys. Um, again, the getting started guide has a little tracker where you can write down all the names of the exposures you have. And it has a little place for you to follow up and say, did they become a smart ship customer? Did they become, you know, a retail customer? Did they become a, a an affiliate a business partner with you? All of that's on that getting started guide. Um, it also walks you through on how to get your links and things like that. All right, moving along, um, I want to talk about Dose really quickly. Um, Dose is our functional beverage and the Xanthamax capsule. So we actually have three types of Dose. We have our regular coffee Dose, we have a chocolate Dose, and we have a nitro Dose. So either way, it's the drink and the capsule. Together, these two products help release dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, all the happiness hormones in the brain. Everyone's brain chemistry is different. So what the product does for me is going to be different than what it does for you. It's going to be different than what it does for the customer. Some customers are like, I'm so jacked up on energy. I can't, I can't stop cleaning my house. Doesn't do that to me. I don't think anything can do that to me, right? Nothing's going to make me clean my house. That ain't happening, okay? Um, <laughs> that's not happening for me, but it does happen for a lot of people. So a lot of people literally order the product just for what it does for their motivation about getting around and doing things, going to the gym cleaning their house, right? For me, it brought me out of a really dark slump where I was like really unhappy, right? And it just made me feel normal again. So it wasn't like I was jacked up running around cleaning the house. I just felt normal again. That's huge for me, okay? So what's huge for me may not be huge for you. So everyone's gonna be different. Um, what it also did for me was really reduce my appetite. So I don't know if you were on at the beginning, the girls were talking about how they hadn't eaten today. For me, I was controlled by food 100%. Like I felt like I needed to eat to make me happy. And now I don't feel that way anymore. I eat because I enjoy it or I, you know, whatever, but I don't eat to like try to make for reward and for happiness. Like I used to, it's completely different. Um, so that's something huge for me. So I was able to lose weight because I wasn't revolving my life around food anymore. Um, so everyone's going to be different on what they feel. All right. So sometimes it takes some tweaking. If someone says they didn't feel anything from it, they may need to reduce their water content so that they are putting less water, more products in their body quicker so that it hits them faster and they can actually feel a difference. Some people, they can only, I can only use half a scoop. Okay. And I still only use half a scoop and I do it in eight ounces of water. So that may be different for everybody. So it takes some tweaking and you can talk to your sponsor about those kinds of things because they have more experience with it. Again, you can search in the customer group because we've probably addressed it somewhere sometime with other people that have had, you know, different issues. All right. So again, there's three different dose. If you're like, well, what's the difference? Coffee obviously is coffee flavored. Chocolate is obviously chocolate flavor, tastes like hot cocoa, homemade hot cocoa. And then nitro is more of a um, rich blend coffee and it has um, some added ingredients to help with nitric oxide. So that's really good if someone's working out and going to the gym. Um, a lot of men like that one better. So again, you can try them and see which one you like best. Um, all right, so I wanna talk about what you do to build a business. Every single day, I would recommend you having a DMO. So what a DMO is, your daily method of opportunity. It's what you do every single day to grow your business. You have to be consistent with that. And so just sit down, talk to your sponsor, and figure out what are you going to do every single day to grow your business. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You want these to be really simple so that you do them every day. All right? For me, when especially in the beginning, what I did was I added 20 people on my Facebook every day to grow my audience. I knew that my 200 friends on Facebook wasn't going to cut it. So I had to commit to growing that number. And so again, we have different strategies on how to grow your audience on Facebook. Again, more trainings on those. So if you need help with that, we can help you with that. But 
I had to get my number up so that more people saw my stuff. So I added people every day. I followed up with people that had already sampled the product every single day. Okay. And I didn't follow up with the same people every single day. I followed up with the new people that I got from the day before. Does that make sense? So if I'm adding people every day, I'm making a curiosity post every single day. I'm messaging the people that are commenting and liking every single day. I'm following up with the people that already got their samples in the mail every single day. I am um, engaging with other people's Facebook, not entrepreneurs, people outside my business, 20 to 25 people a day. I'm adding some value on a Facebook group every single day. Those are some things that are on my DNA list. Yours can look different. Your sponsors can look different. So you just talk to them. Again, if you want to know what DMOs, um, other people in the page, I'll page have, search in DMO and Team Unity and see what those look like. There's different lists and things like that. But just pick some things that you can do every single day that you can be consistent with. If you aren't consistent, the business won't grow. You've got to plant seeds every day and eventually they grow. It may not be today. It may not be next week. It may not be next month. But over time, your consistency will grow fruit okay there will be fruits of your labor it may just take time to do that especially if you're new to network marketing um, but it will it will happen it will grow it just takes time of building that consistency building that audience building that trust and building excitement it just takes time but it will happen if you've been in for a while you may see that you get an immediate like Woo, swarm people because you've been building in maybe a different company and then you switch, then you get some fruits of your labor from the switch. So you never know how it's going to happen, but it will happen, I promise. Um, all right, so lastly, just a couple more things. Play around with your back office. Log into your back office and click on all the things. Click on all the tabs. See what it is. Um, we're probably going to do a training as soon as the, the back office gets its full a refresh because they're still working on some exciting uh, enhancements in the back office and a new design and all that so we're trying to hold off on it but for now log in your back office and click around all the tabs and you know if you have questions on what does this mean what does that mean ask your sponsor your leader if they don't know they'll go up I know so it you know it's just the learning progress of, of learning what's in your back office you don't have to know all these things but if you you know want to click around and learn there's lots of awesome stuff there the other thing I will say too is don't spend a lot of time trying to learn all the things before you get your business going, okay? If you start working your business, posting about it, talking to people about it, getting samples out, that's what you should be doing. That's the most important part. Learning the ingredients or the science or the back office or the comp plan, all of those things are not important to grow your business. It doesn't matter how well you know the comp plan, if you don't put volume through it, you will make zero dollars. Okay, it doesn't matter how well you know the back office, if you don't put anything in it, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna encourage you to earn as you learn and learn as you earn, okay? So you got to keep going. Um, a lot of people are professional development junkies and all they do is wake up and listen to Les Brown and Tony Robbins and they learn and they grow themselves, but they don't ever apply anything that the people are telling them, so then they make zero dollars. They're spending hours a day investing in themselves, but they don't actually apply anything. So that, don't be that person. Take what you're learning and apply it daily. Do the DMOs to grow your business. Do income producing activities to grow your business. Don't just sit there and fiddle around and learn things, okay? Apply the things you're learning and only learn little bits at a time because um, you can't apply everything at once. Um, so with the comp plan that just launched August 1st, um, one thing that is important is that you purchase $80 a month. That's your dose. So if you order the coffee and Xanthamax, you're covered. Um, if you order the chocolate bait and the Xanthamax, you're covered. And so that would unlock your monthly commissions. So no matter what you end up doing in your business, you're covered. So I can go through all the differences there, but at the end of the day, if you order your dose, you're covered. If you don't make monthly commissions, oh well, at least you knew you were covered if you did. So we can get into all that, but at the end of the day, I would recommend ordering your personal monthly products in your own account so that you're commission qualified no matter what happens, okay? Um, better safe than sorry, right? And so again, download the Getting Started Guide, look through that. We're going to tweak it because of course we've had some updates with this new comp plan. Um, and things like that. But that's pretty much 
Um, it, we build on social media mostly, but if you have questions about maybe doing vendor events, maybe doing coffee socials at your house, um, any of those things, again, you can search into Unity to find more information about other um, opportunities on how to get the products out there. Most of us use social media, so you can search social media tips, um, social media um, engagement, anything like that, those little, um, you know, things that you can think of that you may need help with. Again, there's probably a training somewhere that's been posted in our Team Unity page. All right, I think that's it, guys. Um, anything else y'all have that we, let me look through the chat because I have the chat minimized. Let me see what questions. Yes, we are, um, the new shareables, as soon as we sell out of these, the new shareables will have a complete redesign with nutrition information, um, ingredients, and all the things, and it, it will not say the word free in them. If you're selling the old ones, they do say free. So you may want to mark them out or actually give them for free. I've been doing them for free and charging $3 shipping so that they're actually free. You, got, you can white it out. You can put your um, name over it. Um, I got some little smelly face stickers you can put over or whatever. Um, is there anything else? Misty, did I miss anything? There, well, there were a couple just short things here that I wanted to touch base on too is um, I think a lot of times when everyone's just getting started, they really don't know what the conversation needs to look like once they make a post. Um, and they're like getting people who want information. And so what I suggest doing is whoever your upline is probably has some sort of script that they use. Um, I know that I do, and I pass that along to anybody on my team who would like to use it. Um, you can tweak it to make it sound like yourself a little bit, but basically what you're saying to everybody for the most part in the beginnings of the conversation looks exactly the same. Um, so I recommend, you know, I do, oh, actually I do voice messages a lot too now, um, but when, that's probably in the beginning, not something you're going to be super comfortable doing, but as you go, um, you will, and it gets easier to do it that way. But what I recommend doing is either coming up with some sort of little script on your own. Like I have a step one, step two, like all, you know, five steps of, of what those conversations can look like once they ask for that information. And I always offer to pass that along to anybody on my team who wants it. Um, and so that's something that is, makes it so much easier. So you're not word vomiting on people and saying, oh, it's a, you know, it, it makes your brain produce uh, dopamine, and oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. You lose a lot of weight and you have all the energy, you know, like you're just really going on and on and on. And you, by the time it's all done, you have a message this long and you freaked them out and ran them off. And so like, if you can just really keep it simple and to the point and you can come and they'll ask you questions and then you can go back and answer those. Um, but it's really just a simple, um, you know, step by step the way that it goes. So I recommend if you're to reach out to your upline and help have them maybe help you um, come up with something if you have, you know, because I feel like that's a lot of um, the issue. When people first get started, they have people reach out and then they don't know what to do or what to say. And then they kind of freak out and they run them off. So that was one thing I wanted to touch base on. Um, and then the second thing is consistency. Like, you know, it's the same way you have to look at it. It's like any other business, you know, I have sometimes people will reach out to me and say, well, I'm not, you know, it's not growing that fast or, you know, what am I doing wrong? And, you know, and I'll go and I'll look and they maybe haven't posted anything about anything. And, you know, three, five days. And especially when you're first getting going, you want people to know what you're doing and that you're plugging in and that you're super excited about this new product that you found. And um, the more, I mean, I do that almost daily, whether it be a, a lifestyle post about how it's, you know, helped financially for my family um, or the coffee and what it's doing for me or just gratitude and motivational and inspirational. Um, something along those lines that really draws people into you. If you're just sporadically posting here and there, you're not going to get consistent growth in your business. You're not going to consistently get customers. You're not going to consistently have anybody join your team. Um, you're not going to have people reaching out to you and ask because the way that Facebook works too, you know, you don't know who's seeing your post. If you're posting, you know, at one day, you might have a certain group of people that are seeing it then versus a different day. So, really keep that in mind 
um, that when you're doing your post that you do it on a consistent basis because if it's not consistent um, if you're not plugged in consistently doing things to grow your business consistently it's not going to consistently grow so you have to think of it as if you were to start a brick and mortar business and you only showed up on mondays and fridays versus every day of the week then you know you you're not going to get the same results. So I think that you have to look at it that way. If you want your business to work, you have to work your business. And so treat it as you would, as if you built a store, invested hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, fortunately with this, you have a low investment and the return on that investment is incredible if you will just do the work behind it. And um, so that's just the two things that I wanted to kind of plug in there. Yes, and I'll, I'll bring that up too. I mean, I, I did want to say that too. When you are posting on your Facebook about coffee and you're trying to create curiosity, that is important. And I would do that once a day. It doesn't have to be about coffee every day. It can be about Xanthomax one day. It can be about Dose as the combo one day. It can be about the business opportunity one day. It can be about Keto Creamer one day. Okay, but I would, especially in the beginning, do a curiosity post every single day, especially in the beginning to get your, you know, get the curiosity out there. But that doesn't mean that would be the only post you have every day. You have to post valuable posts beyond that. If all you're doing is creating curiosity, well, guess what this new thing is? Guess what this is? So excited about my new coffee. My new business is awesome. Like, that's all you do. They'll be like, what the freak? Get out of here, you know? You have to add value. Like Bill said, or Bill and Gray, I'm not sure which one. They said it's important to add value in your post. It's so important for you to add value. So I like to talk a lot about my kids, my family, what we're doing. We travel all the time. So where we're traveling to, maybe, you know, if you're going to Disney, you've got to eat at this new, this restaurant, guys, it's amazing. Like all, all these things like to add value, right? So people will continue to follow you. Even if you're like, well, my life isn't valuable. I have nothing to say. A, I would definitely argue with you and find some things that you do know a lot about and you can add value. But even if you just post about your family, pictures of your kids, your dog, something funny that, you know, your dog did, that adds value to people. So sometimes people get in their head and they're like, well, I'm not an, an expert on anything, so I can't add value. I guarantee you, I would rather watch a video of you and your six-year-old being silly. That adds more value to my life than you telling me, you know, three top tips on how to work out and get abs. Like I get more value out of watching people be entertaining than I do out of people being knowledgeable. So I want to know, I want you to know that too. Sometimes we will get hung up on adding value. Value can be entertainment, can be funny, can be really just showing the real you and know that too. So don't feel like I don't know the value to add. You do be entertaining and show the real you that's valuable as well. Um, but do that a lot on your Facebook. So I would recommend three to four posts a day, only one of them being about the product, the business, you know, what's going on there. And again, as you, as people kind of, you get the word out, maybe even dial that back and only do a curiosity post every other day or every three days. Right. So you don't have to post. I don't, I definitely, if you look at my page, you're like, homegirl oh, never talks about it. I don't have to at this point. People reach out to me and ask me, What's that business you do? What's that product you do? What's that copy you do in a private message? If you can ever get to that point, that's amazing. But to get to that point, it is a lot of consistency and posting curiosity posts while adding a lot of value within that too. Yeah, and another thing to talking about, um, kind of to touch base on where you were saying how you grew your um, social media. Another thing, if you go into Team Unity too and you search the word social media tips, um, there's going to be stuff that you can go in there and read as well because that's another thing a lot of people don't know exactly how to grow their social media or um, to, to get more attraction onto their pages by liking commenting and doing all those, all those things so there is some things in there um, that you can go and read or watch the video trainings and that type of thing too um, and I think it's also important to remember that we all have started at different places um, you know, and I guarantee you that anybody who was having any level of success didn't just jump into this a week ago 
and are just killing, you know what I'm saying? Like there is a growth period and you have to allow yourself that time to grow and learn. Um, so you're not overwhelming yourself. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of when you're first starting out and there's, you know, all the stuff in team unity and then there's your team chats and then with level up for us, you know, so you're seeing things in different places and you don't know where, you know, don't let yourself get so overwhelmed that you just, like, I don't know what's going on, you know, take the, whatever pace that you're comfortable with in the beginning um, and let it go from there. Because if you jump in and we don't expect you to just know everything right out of the gate, um, none of us knew everything right out of the gate. We're still learning now. I mean, we just got a new comp plan that launched yesterday. So, you know, none of us know, know what's going on there, you know, except for uh, maybe Brittany, but <laughs> we're <all> still, girl. <laughs> so we're all still learning that. So just, you know, just kind of trust the process and know that is, you know, developing yourself and um, knowing and believing that you can do it and having a positive mind frame. Um, about it and, and no, you know, not negative self-talk or I'm terrible at this or look who, you know, her post is doing so well and she's getting all these customers and she's getting these affiliates. And, you know, if it's somebody who is just really doing well, look at the situation behind it. And I guarantee you, they put a lot of time and effort and, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get where they are. But if you don't give up on it, we have an incredible product. We have an incredible company, um, an incredible opportunity here because of the timing and the launch phase of this business that if you will plug in and do the things and don't give up on it, then you're going to have success. But if you just get frustrated, throw up your hands, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I can't tell you how many YouTube videos and, you know, a podcast and training videos and everything that I've taken time and invested in learning how to do anything that I've done um, to be able to get to this point. So and I, years, not over like the past three weeks. Okay. Right, yeah. A lot of us have been developing this stuff over years. So don't, don't wave the white flag and, and give up quickly for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And don't compare yourself. Like she said, you don't know where their journey is. You don't know how much time they've invested. Um, but you also don't know, like maybe they've already been in the company before. Maybe they were, I don't know, the wife of the preacher in the church and they had all this influence. You don't know what someone's background is. So please don't compare yourself to anyone except yourself. Comparison is the thief of joy. So if you compare yourself to someone else and they're doing great and you're not doing great and you beat yourself up, you're, that does, that serves nobody. Okay. Compare yourself to yourself. Did you get two customers last month and this month you've got three? If so, you need to pat yourself on the back. You grew and that's amazing. Um, did you make a post and have, you know, only two comments and now you're making posts and you're getting 10 comments. That's growth. That's huge. So you need to try to keep the perspective to compare yourself only to yourself and don't compare yourself to anybody else. And know that we all, no matter how far you are in this game, have good days and bad days. So there are days where it seems like everything we do goes right. We're on fire. You know, things are just falling into place and we're like, woo. And then there are days where we're like scratching our eyeballs out. Like what the heck? Like I cannot, you know, I can't close a customer save my life. Everyone's telling me no. All these people that I followed up with, they didn't like the product. Like it happens where it all happens at one time and you feel like this sucks. You know, there's good days and bad days. So know that even if you're having a bad day, I was, I'm doing a roller coaster because there's going to be days where you're on a high and days where you're on a low. Know that even if you're on a low, there are really good days that are coming after that as long as you keep going. Okay. If you stop the roller coaster on the valley, then that's that, right? But if you keep going, all of us, no matter what level you are, I mean, I hit the top rank of the company in January. I still have days where I'm like, can I do this? Like, is this, is this what I'm supposed to do? Like, this is very hard for me. There are still days where that happens to me. So always know that too, that if you have days where you're, you're struggling, we always want to focus on the good things and the positive things, but there's always days where we always kind of struggle and have challenges and self doubt. So you got to talk to someone who can help pull you out of it or go listen to a video or read a book or something that can pull yourself out of it. So keep that in mind too. All right. Anything else before we wrap this up? Any questions? 
I just wanted to take a second and thank you both for um, sharing everything that you shared. And like you said, encourage everybody not to compare yourselves to other people, but to just compare yourself to the before. And also really plug in and get busy just sharing. Even um, like Brittany was saying earlier, you don't have to know all the things. You don't have to know the comp plan. I'm a perfect example of somebody who does not know the comp plan. If you ask me to explain it to you, I'm going to have one of my friends help me because I struggle with that. But did I get 100 customers my first month? Yep, because I was doing all the things. You don't have to know everything to do the things. Just get into action and start sharing. Share your excitement. Share your enthusiasm. Let people see how happy you are and just like exude the benefits of the product and people are going to be attracted to that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't share, you know, what the product is, share what the product does. Touch on those pain points and all you got to know is what does the product do? And if you need help with that, we can help you with that. But it makes, makes people happier, feel better, usually have less appetite, usually have more energy, you know, helps people's inflammation, all the things. Okay. It does a lot of things. So you can just touch on some of those things, not all at once because people will be like, what the heck? Just touch on a little bit at a time, you know, filter it in and everyone, once they try it, they'll, you know, have their own experience and see what it does for them. So, right. Yeah. And what the last thing I was wanting to say too, is the importance of authenticity um, and who that is going to attract to you. You know, if you, um, if you aren't authentically yourself in your posts and the way that you're coming across my, you know, we all have different struggles. We all have had different experiences in life um, that we've had to overcome and, you know, using those things as kind of a launching pad and to draw attention and draw in other people who says, Hey, I've, I've had that same experience and this is motivational to me that she overcame this you know, um, what, you know, myself or Brittany or Aaron have experienced in life is completely different. So what we've each had to overcome is our own personal testimony and your personal testimony is powerful, whether you think it is or not, you know, mm -hmm. um, overcoming struggles, everybody has something that they've had to work through in life, really tap into that and say, you know, if you don't feel like you have something to share or something that people are going to be interested in, then I, I promise you, unless your life has been just rainbows and butterflies your entire life, then um, you're going to have a, a testimony and something to share and something that's going to draw people in because you can't, you know, not every, everybody's not constantly happy. Everybody's not constantly just super bubbly and in a great mood. We all have struggles, um, you know, show those things too, you know, and it's okay. Now don't be a complainer on your page. You don't be like negative Nancy or, or, you know, I've even, you know, something that I advise against is being super political on your page because you're going to run people off that way too. Uh, but, you know, be positive, but let them see that you're human too, that you have those days that kind of suck and, you know, like post about it. I mean, I, I'll tell you guys right now, when it, the, one of the hardest moments that I went through was when my daughter moved out um, in September last year and I had a <laughs> boohoo meltdown fest and I made a post on Facebook about it and it's literally been shared millions of, time, of times just from me posting that in a vulnerable moment. And I've made tons of connections from people all over the world that have reached out to me because of that. So you never know. I would have never in a million years have imagined that that would have gotten that type of attention. So I know that we all have human emotion and different things going on. And when you're vulnerable and open and willing to share that side of you, you're going to attract other people who feel like that they can connect with you. And connection is huge in this industry. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm jumping off. I thank you guys all for, for, for jumping on and welcome, welcome, welcome to our family. You know, we love you guys. We appreciate you. Um, I know that entrepreneurship is scary. We all started out scared in the beginning, no matter if you came from another company or not. It's so scary in the beginning. It's so exciting in the beginning, but just bottle up that excitement and that emotion and run with this and you will be extremely, extremely blessed and you will bless others and you will see that in 
your success and your check and your, you know, stories that you're connected to, it's all just going to fall into place because we have the best opportunity there is, the best products there is, the best prices there is, the best support system there is, the best leadership. I mean, it, it, you've got it all right here. The best timing, this company has it all. So welcome to our family. We're excited for you. We can't see, wait to see what you guys do um, with this business. So talk to you guys later. Thanks Thank for watching. Brittany. Bye guys. Thank Bye. you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.